Okay, so getting a good view of his face. Come on, dude. Yeah. This is him right now, right before feeding. We're about to do it. But like, see his little snot nose? And then like his head is just so big. His ears are so far set back. And then once he does open his eyes, they're kind of like bulgy. Here, let me show you. Come here, little dude. He's not a happy camper. Come here, open your eyes for me. Yeah, I know, I know. We're gonna see the vet. So more often than not, hydrocephalus is a combination type disorder. Um, they're usually born with it. And then it comes with other things such as like heart murmur and underdeveloped respiratory system, stuff like that. It, it had a very large open fontanelle and on top of not being able to stay in the upright position, he would frequently circle. Um, feeding was difficult and he always had a very stuffy nose that was not able to be fixed with antibiotics. This next puppy coming up had a million different issues on top of hydrocephalus. He was functioning at 70% oxygen level, um, which is why it's so hard for him to walk. It's actually quite painful not being able to get enough oxygen. Um, he had issues with digestion and defecation, and because of the issues with digestion, he was constantly vomiting, so we'd have to sucker his nose and clear the airways. Before diagnosis, we tried enemas, nebulizer, and steam treatments to offer some relief.